A bear that was spotted in Summit County a couple of days ago is still roaming around the Park City area. Look at this guy. Man, right there on the deck, just Holy looking around. Cow. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree tells us about one woman's close encounter with nature and how wildlife officials are now having to step in. This bear wandered onto Wendy Preston's back deck on Tuesday. The Fox 13 News viewer tells us it wanted her bird feeder. There's, you know, hummingbird feeders and, you know, residents might have barbecue grills that maybe aren't perfectly clean, that type of thing. And so this bear was being rewarded by coming to town and finding some treats. Scott Rood with Utah's Division of Wildlife Resources says after a big holiday like the 4th of July, a lot of scents can lure bears into human spaces. Typically, if they're if they're getting rewarded and they come back to the same area, they don't really want to leave because they've, they've got a reward. For the past couple days, a conservation officer has been hazing the bear, gently scaring it away from neighborhoods and back into the hills. We haze it with a little bean bag from a shotgun. It, it stings, but it doesn't hurt the bear. It gives it an unpleasant experience and they often just run off. Well, we did that and it still came back. So we may have to relocate it. The DWR might need to try a more direct approach to get the bear back home. We may just have to put up a live culvert trap, you know, and bait it, get it to come in, the door closes behind it and we just haul it off further up the mountain, you know, a few miles away. For now, Root says there's no danger to the public. This bear is nothing to fear. Bears typically, they just have their their heads to the ground and and they're sniffing. They have that great sense of smell. They're looking for roots and bulbs and and you know maybe uh, ground squirrels or whatever. But they're not really out to get us. In Salt Lake City, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.